Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you you follow that link it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and more information on this unit once this unit is sold that link will be removed we are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages if you have any questions please give us a call at 440 ohio rvs again that's 440 ohio rvs for sale today we have a 2013 pleasure way lexor ts with 44,459 miles Alrighty, folks here we are inside of this 2013 pleasure way lexor ts as usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. We've got a real nice specimen here. Very clean inside and out. Got this nice dark colored wood throughout, something you don't normally see. Got about 72 and a half inches of headroom in the main part of the coach. We've got a fantastic fan here in the center. This is going to operate on our coach battery. You can use that like an attic fan at night. If you open up the windows, it'll bring the cool outside air in. Or you can use it like an exhaust fan for the bathroom here. We'll check the bathroom out in just a little bit. Got hard surface flooring. Going to make it easier to keep it clean in here. Got a table mount there in the rear. Easily accessible entryway, got a fire extinguisher. This window does open right here. There is no screen. Got our levels test here for our gray black freshwater tank. Don't trust these, these are notoriously finicky, so do not consider those gospel. We've got our battery test here. Got our water pump on off. You're going to use this if you want to pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. That runs on the coach battery. This is our generator start stop switch. This runs on the fuel tank. It will run down to around a quarter tank. You cannot run it below that, so you cannot strand yourself. This is a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified own and technicians. It's got 93 hours here on the meter. We've got our water heater start stop. This runs on propane. This will ignite itself. Got a light switch here, a little bit of storage up top. Got a cabinet here to hang your clothes. Got a table on the right, our table leg, our manuals in the bag, and the board on the left wall there is to make up the big bed in the back. Got our propane furnace down there by the ground. Got a wet bath here in this camper van. Not much of a step up and in. Everything's gonna drain into the floor here. We've got an actual porcelain stool, got a sink here, mirror so you can get ready. Nice to have the enclosed wet bath on these camper vans. A lot of people prefer this setup. Got a stainless backsplash here, going to help keep things clean if you are cooking. Got a single basin stainless sink, Corian countertops. Got a two burner propane cooktop. We've got a three way Dometic fridge freezer. Got our freezer up top. Fridge space throughout the rest of it. This is a three way, meaning it runs on AC power. So our shore power plug in or our generator. DC meaning the coach battery or propane gas. DC is meant more as a maintenance function, so you're gonna to wanna to get that cold using the AC power or the gas power. Got some of our power connections down here, this red key. You can pull this out if it's off. If you can't pull it out, like you can't now, it is on. So that is our coach battery disconnect. That's gonna disconnect your coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. It's also gonna disconnect our charging systems to the coach battery, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. Got our fuse panel here. Everything is labeled. We've got our AC or 110 breakers and our DC or 12 volt fuses. <clears throat> this is a nice physical representation of the power systems in this coach. So we've got our AC over here and our DC. That will tell you what's running 
on the coach battery or what's running on the shore power plug-in and the generator. If you're confused, got some water connections over there on the right. Got storage here beneath the sofa. You can access this through the rear entry doors if you have those open. Got more storage over here. We've got a cool cat AC and heat pump. This will function as an electric heat source. If you're plugged in or running the generator down to around 40 or 50 degrees outside temperature with that heat pump, below that, you're gonna have to use the propane furnace. This operates on AC power, so the shore power plug-in or the generator. The propane furnace and the cool cat in the rear are operated through the thermostat here. This is much like the thermostat in your house. You're gonna set it to what you want, set it to the temperature. Got a light switch here. This is a switch to run the power sofa up and down here in the back. Got a TV antenna there. You do not want to drive around with that TV antenna up. Got storage here in the back. Got a microwave here. This runs on shore power or the generator. So AC power. Got a DVD player here. got DC power, AC power. We've got an inverter here. So it's going to invert the DC power to AC. Got a noxious gas detector down there by the floor. Got window with a screen portion on the lower here. Got privacy curtains. The two windows in the rear do open. However, they do not have screens. Got privacy curtains for those. Got a screen portion on the lower over here. Drop that curtain down for privacy. Got two belts on the rear sofa, two up front, so a total of four belts here in this unit. You're going to be able to run this power sofa up and down using the switch over here on the wall. Uh, you got some different options of ways you can sleep back here. I'm going to go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like made up and get some measurements. The separate twin sleepers measure approximately 72 inches north, south, or front to back, and 25 inches east, west, or side to side on the driver's side, and a little shorter at 66 inches north, south on the passenger side. The boards in the closet behind the driver's seat will make up the big bed, which measures approximately 66 to 72 inches north-south and 72 inches east-west. The rear sofa base in the upright position measures approximately 19 and a half inches north-south and 72 inches east-west. Here we are sitting in the back of the pleasure way. Why do chicken coops only have two doors? Because if they had four, they would be chicken sedans. TV's on a swivel mount can face this around to the front here. Both of the front seats do swivel. However, the passenger seat's going to get a better position due to the steering wheel and the cabinet blocking the driver's seat. Got AC power over here by the floor. Got a counter flip out here. You can flip this up for more counter space. Also got AC power right there. It's perfect for your coffee pot. Nice little mirror here. Got vinyl floor up front. It's gonna make it easier to keep clean. Got AC power over here. A couple light switches, a little handle here to help you get up and in. So all in all, we've got a super nice specimen here. Got the pleasure way quality that you know and love. Got the one piece molded fiberglass top. Super nice looking inside and out. Got these unique dark cabinets. Is this a very elegant look? I'm gonna call this one a 9.5 out of 10. Very minimal blemishes on this one. Nothing that's jumping out at me. This is a fantastic looking unit. Uh, check this one out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Here in the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player with auxiliary in. Got nice clean upholstery, some cup holders, little glove box here. A little bit of this storage up top here. You can tuck a few things up here while you're driving. Got our backup camera is going to function through the rearview mirror here. There's no cigarette lighter in this one. I'm not seeing any signs of smoking, so I'm going to call this one a non-smoker. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2013 Pleasure Way Lexor TS. This RV measures 20 feet, six inches bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 4620 date codes. This Pleasure Way is built on a Chevy Express 3500 chassis with a six liter V8 engine with 44,459 miles. We've got an excellent looking exterior on this one. Stripes, paint, everything is in excellent condition. This is very good looking. 
Got the back of the refrigerator. Got two AC plug-ins so you can plug things in beneath the awning. We've got one AGM battery. This is an upgraded battery over your standard deep cycle battery you'd commonly see. Got our porch light here. Got our air conditioner coming out top here. We've got our backup camera. Got storage beneath the sofa in the rear. Got our propane tank here. This is attached to the unit, so you'll have to drive this somewhere to have that filled. Got a valve to turn that on and off. They're gonna fill it behind this yellow cover here. There's a gauge right there. Got a tow package. Got our awning center rafter and crank there. Got a spare tire mount here on the rear door. Got our generator exhaust that's located underneath the RV where the spare tire normally would be. Got our sewer hose storage, city water connection, cable TV in. This is our shore power plug-in. This is a 30 amp service. Got the back of our water heater. Closer look at the stripes and everything on this. Really good looking unit. Got an outside shower here. That's nice for kids, pets, going to the beach, going on a hike, keep the mess out of the RV. Got our sewer dump here, black on the left, gray on the right. Maybe the black first and the gray. The gray is your sink and shower. It's gonna flush everything clean. Got our fuel fill there. It's gonna run the engine and the generator. The generator will stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot strand yourself. Storage bay there with our power cords. This is a fill for the onboard fresh water tank. This is going to travel wherever the RV goes. You have to use the water pump to pump the water out of that tank. This is our furnace exhaust. It's a propane furnace. Don't sit things there if you have that on. So all in all, we've got a super nice looking pleasure way here. Check this one out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Ray Z from New Hampshire loves watching us on YouTube and made a visit recently to see us here in small town Sherwood, Ohio. Ray got hooked up with some new gear after touring our facility and even got to hold one of the famous fingers. Thanks for watching, Ray, and thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.